I mean, if people say things like, well, geez, I'm, I go look over in Somalia when their state fell and there's rival warlords and I didn't see them all reading Rothbard and, and offering ounces of gold to each other and so on and going to private arbitration. Well, OK, but that state fell because it was so horrible and corrupt. Right. So by various metrics, um, I think Ben Powell's done some work on this, that, yes, Somalia under what you might truly call anarchy or statelessness, let's say, to be more precise, was not a great place to live, but it was actually better than Somalia under a state. So with all these things, you got to do apples to apples. Clearly, I would rather live in the United States with its state system rather than under even stateless Somalia. But by the same token, I'd rather live in the state system of the United States rather than Somalia under a state. Right. So you're really not telling me anything about the nature of the state versus volunteerism. You're telling me the nature of the people in the United States and their value system of compared to the people in Somalia and their value system around that same time period. So I have every reason to think in the, in, you know, Texas seceded in lots of different counties and stuff started breaking off. And it was very small, limited political power over people. I don't think it would turn into rampant shooting and guys going around in pickup trucks just mowing people down. I don't think that's what would happen.